Three terminal cancer patients saw their disease start to disappear in months. The experimental cancer vaccine that they were given is certainly making headlines now. That cancer vaccine developed at Mount Sinai in New York. It is injected directly into the tumor, effectively training the immune system to destroy it as well as other tumor cells in the body. We have a doctor who's part of the team behind these vaccines, Dr. Thomas Marin. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for being here. My pleasure, thanks for having me. And Dr. Marin, we know you said upon reviewing one of the women's uh, scans, uh, you said the results were like winning the lottery. Can you tell us about that feeling, especially after working on this vaccine for a decade? Yeah, I think that she in particular was a special case because she had been dealing with a diagnosis of breast cancer since the year 2000. So 22 years of dealing with this, she had progressed most recently through multiple lines of chemotherapy that had lots of side effects that she didn't want to deal with. Again, we gave her this vaccine and literally within a few months, her cancer really just disappeared. And it, whenever you see something that you've developed in the laboratory that, you know, we develop most of these vaccines and mice, when you see it actually work in humans and really change somebody's life for the better, it's the most rewarding feeling I could imagine. Oh, I can only imagine. And tell us about the results from this experimental trial, because it showed results for about <clears throat> half of the 10 patients. Is that right? Yeah, so um, cancer vaccines are very similar to vaccines we use in infectious disease. So there's always two components. One is really just the dead stuff that we're trying to teach our immune system to recognize. And the other is what we call an adjuvant, which is what we activate the immune system with. And there's many approaches that are using personalized vaccines where we actually take a chunk of somebody's tumor. We learn a lot about it and we make a personalized vaccine, whether it be sort of RNA or DNA based like the Moderna vaccines um, or just using proteins and basically making synthetic you know tumor and we actually vaccinate somebody's arm against that and we combine it with an adjuvant but what we're doing here is what we call an in situ vaccine we're actually vaccinating somebody in the site of the tumor that's what in situ means so when patients have a large tumor on their chest or in their neck which is most of the patients in this trial we actually inject the things that make the vaccine directly into the tumor and we use the tumor as the substrate for the vaccine so just like a flu shot or the coronavirus virus has basically dead flu or dead corona along with the thing that activates the vaccine. The tumor itself is the dead stuff that we're teaching your immune system to recognize and kill so that hopefully your immune system not only kills the tumor that we're directly injecting in the clinic, but also all the other cancer cells that are throughout the body. And those are the ones that are the real problem, especially for most of the patients that you know derive benefit from this because their tumors were you know deep inside their body and were not amenable to injection. It's really incredible what you're describing. And we do want to be clear, this is not one shot and you're done. It is 17 into the tumor, eight other immunotherapy injections that you were describing. Is this good for all cancers or only ones with a mass or a tumor on the outside of the body? Well, so this is a very early study. Like you said, you know, we had 10 patients, three people have benefited from this. This is not something that's going to be off the shelf around the world in the next few months. But what we are doing is we're learning from these patients. We're learning from our successful patients and also the patients that unfortunately had their cancer progress. And we're constantly developing new iterations of this vaccine. So, you know, a 30% response rate is actually amazing in this setting because these are patients who have incurable cancer and there's no really any good treatments for these people. But we want to get up to 100%. That's obviously uh, our goal. Absolutely. And Dr. Marin, in the last 10 seconds, we have bottom line. What is a timeline if things continue to go well for, for everyone to potentially have access to this? I, I think that the field of vaccines is moving very quickly. We're hopeful that, you know, we continue to revolutionize the, the field of oncology and create this personalized approach, but also off the shelf approach that could be helpful within the next few years. Next few years, we'll take it. Dr. Marin, it can't come soon enough. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.